Hello, once again, I'm back. Yeah, after a long time of not recording, now I'm back. And today, oops, wrong thing for me. Hold on. We're going to be doing some GTA content creator tutorial. Okay. So today we're going to be doing the first one, which is the deathmatch, I think. So what you're going to want to do is go into online and then go to content creator, or what it says creator, and it should say beta on it for now. Then it's it'll going to load up the screen, blah, blah, blah. And then once it get up to the screen, you're going to want to go, like, it's going to load up this area. To create a race or deathmatch, or if you have one, you go load creation. Let's just start a new one. So we're going to go into deathmatch. match area. We're going to need a title, a description, and a photo. So let's just put this in as, let's say, airplane. So we'll type in airplane, this box, and then we'll have, that's our title. Now we need a description. Let's just say, fight. You can type up to 500 characters, which is like maybe like a small paragraph. And then you have to have a picture. So we'll just put this picture. You can just, you can put the picture wherever you want. It just it, it doesn't even have to be in the um, area. You can just put it wherever. But I'll just put it right here like this. Display save damage, yes. And then you have the deathmatch details. You can also change this. It could be normal, team deathmatch. Teams, minimum players, 15, minimum players can go up to 16, score limit, and all that. And this is new, it's, you, forced pickup is the option where you have to have forced weapons. and You can change the time and day and all that too. And then forced weapon, pistol, yeah. And then placement, you have to have a placement trigger, is where everyone, like, it's like where when you try to get into a survival game you have to find you can either go in the start menu or there's I know there's one somewhere regular you would um step over it so that you pull out your phone and so now you take your lobby picture which is when you're in lobby what so we'll just say that's the okay so spawn points spawn points they'll be all over just like how you respawn, like where are you going to respawn, just put them, you have to have up to your specific number. So I'm just going to rapidly place these everywhere since this is tutorial. You have to have, depending on how many players you want this, you want your game to have, you have to have a minimum of certain amount. So the, the minimum for me was 32 since it's a 16 game. There's got to be at least two spawn points per person. Then... The team starts. So team starts is going to be like, oh yeah, team start. So this is where team one is going to start. Like this. And then you switch over with the D-pad. And then this is where team two should supposedly is going to start. Like this. There. Then you're going to team three. Well, this is just the This is the like spawn area stuff okay so now you're gonna want to do weapons or or vehicles or props are randomized but we're gonna go with weapons this this is the funner part so what you're gonna be able to do with weapons is see that little pistol you can change it to shotguns and any basically weapon in the game like you can even do uh... say rifle sniper rifle you can do heavy sniper rifle here all these snipers all over the place and then maybe like heavy as like mini guns and all over here to just be like a giant mini gun war and yeah but you can do you can only do up to 50 weapons that's the only problem so you can place up to 50 of these little weapon spots anywhere you want and yeah so now we're going on to vehicles vehicles are pretty much any vehicle in the game cuz you could even just Um, a barracks, 
and pretty much every single one in the game. And you have you can only you can only, the only sad part is that you can only have seven up to twenty five. The best the best part about this is you can even spawn jets in. So I'm just gonna put a jet right there just for that. But anyways, so also you can spawn um, police cars, service cars, industrial, and then utility vans, trucks, helicopters, planes, boats. You can even spawn boats on land, but they have to be in water, sadly. And then you can spawn any type of car, any, even even like a cheetah, adder, or cheetah or Voltic are the only ones you can spawn for um, super, I guess. Okay, and then sports classics, all these, all the sports classics, the just regular sports. Okay, now we're going on to the f the harder part. Props. Props are like if you're doing a race, you'll have to put them on so that they can't they don't go this way. So like this place is blocked off because it's not legal. You're not allowed to pass through here. And you have to go you have to take it the longer route. Basically, it's just adding more of a maze to the game. Or whatever you want to say. And you can have up to 50 props. It can be like benches, your ad here benches or buoys or even just like giant boxes that you can just sit there just go and what up and yeah so the containers boxes dumps dumpsters any type of dumpster even or is it ramps you can put ramps anywhere jump on small medium large large and then there's even water ramps that you can put on you can put down that just say have sports cars jump over it like that like that so then you can just or or if you don't feel like plating placing any of these spawn points or anything over you can just randomize it and you can pick it within so the colors mean the different teams so you'll click that it'll load and you will get your specific spawn points all set up or randomized though. And then they will be all over. Um, 18 spawn points. Oh, and they uh, and it also spawns um uh weapons too. You can put this radius from up to from up to the high is high is um 100 and the low is 25. So it can be up from 25 to 100. So, once you're done with all that, you can do toggle radar, delete anything. Toggle radar is basically just showing you areas look on it. But then, you can't publish it without testing it, so let's test out our new game. And then, on the bottom right corner, once it loads up, there'll be something called a valid test. That's how long you have to test it for to see if it lasts. Oh, so this is, these are your team. You some if you have it on normal it'll just do weird stuff so this is say this is your team you have you have to do a one a valid test for one minute forty three seconds so just you just kill up to your target for oh god but you don't have to have traffic on at all or and once you get wasted it's a weird kind of waste and the best part about testing is you can actually turn on invincibility invincibility you go to the you press down on the d-pad and then turn invincibility on so now you can get in your tank that you spawned in or whatever you do i would not recommend putting tanks in the game and it should look like this you can just drive around punching people out of the cars and running them over all that good stuff blowing them out of the way but after one minute then you can publish it which is actually means that other people can play your game which is the best part which is actually my favorite because now I, I can create my own content in it. so now I just I just hit the limit on the points so the valid test completed before since I completed that so once you finish that what you're gonna wanna do is go down to this and it'll say publish your finished deathmatch onto Rockstar Games Social Club 
other users will be able to download and rate it. It is the be the best creations may even be pr promoted as Rockstar verified, which means Rockstar's people watched it, walked or played it, played it or watched it and liked it so that they made it verified. So what you're going to want to do is publish and it'll publish it and now it's viewable. Some finished work. I'm going to show you mine. Like a legitimate finished work. That was just a tutorial kind of. So, if you go So, you can also update it. Like it's not just a finished done and done. Once you're done, you can still add more stuff. So you can go to load creation, published, and then I have um, a half mile drag race for the next. And then I have that one that I just made. And then there's the street night fight, which I actually made made. So what you're going to want to do to load up and update yours is click, click the load button and then click on the um, character. So now loaded up your older one that you can edit. And yes, this one is publishable, so you can actually check it out for yourself. Or you can check out the other one. But Okay, so, this is my other one that I made, but it's more, it's actually what I tried to make. So, here's what I did. Um, placement. So what I did was, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of, all the purple are purple are spawn points that you can spawn or not spawn point but yeah they're spawn points never mind not uh yeah never mind okay so these are the starting spawn points for team three i think well they're all different colors but so i put them right there so you set up a buzz i set up buzzards and all that and so i could even edit it and see i used like like, you can set up secret areas, too. Like, I've set up jets that are just sitting there going, what up? <laughs> you, can, uh, you can also make it so, like, if I can actually remember. I don't remember. Like, say, right here. They're spawned places right next to each other. The green team and the red team. So, when they spawn they'll be divided by this by the barriers that were made so these people have to run across the barriers which gives them time to pick up these weapons or take a car or take the buzzard and fly off while at the same time these guys have a buzzard and co and even cover right here since they don't have fences or barriers they can get in the cover and vice versa on the other side but then the other side can come down and attack the other team and my this one's a two v two or five v five or whatever you want to call it, and this one has pretty much the same thing. So yeah, and then you can block off what you say is the end of the map, but people don't even listen and just go. Bleh. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you like, enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. I shall see you in another video.